Hi, this is Liam with Energy Sage. I'm a researcher and advocate for you, the clean energy consumer. I'm here to talk about smart electrical panels, essentially a breaker box that connects to the internet. They come in a few different varieties. You've got some like the Span or Schneider Pulse that completely replace your existing panel. Others like the Lumen or Savant are add-ons for a regular box, and you can even get individual circuit breakers with smart features. The idea behind all of them is that you get to monitor and control your home's main power source from one smartphone app. You can track energy use, turn stuff on and off, and more. We've noticed two typical types of reactions when people hear about the tech for the first time. One of them is, wow, awesome. I love smart home stuff, and this just makes my home even smarter. I can't wait to get one. Now I just need to know which one to pick. That's cool, but that's not what this video is all about. It's about the other typical reaction, which is more like, sounds interesting, I guess, but why do I need an app for my breaker box? There are cheaper gadgets like energy monitors and smart plugs that do a lot of the same stuff. And it feels a little risky to replace a tried and true technology like a breaker box with something new and unproven. So why mess with success? So for starters, one important detail. Smart panels can always just turn back into dumb panels. Even if the internet goes out or the smart panel company goes out of business, you will still have power. That is not a risk. To the bigger question, what's the point of a smart panel in general? We've spoken to some pros and crawled through what some owners and other experts have had to say, and there are two really excellent use cases for smart panels. Neither of them have much to do with the obvious smart home energy gadget angle either. So the first one, if you're getting a solar battery, a smart panel makes a ton of sense. The thing with solar batteries is that they don't actually hold that much energy or crank out that much power at any given time. So part of the challenge is you have to manage the battery's energy efficiently. You could just buy more batteries or solar panels to feed the battery, but that gets really expensive and a smart panel is usually the lower cost uh, solution. One of the common workarounds for solar batteries is to hardwire the battery so it only powers specific circuits. In an outage, your fridge will get power, your home office might get power, and your washing machine generally will not. If you wanna make changes to any of those important circuits, you have to hire an electrician. You could also have the battery feed the entire panel, but then you just kinda guess or hope that you don't draw too much power all at once during an outage, or you run through your power supply too quickly during peak electric pricing hours, for example. A smart panel smooths over all those kinds of compromises. You can use the app to change what circuits get power and when. The smart panel looks at what's available in the battery, looks at how much power all your stuff is using in order of importance that you choose, and then decides within milliseconds which circuits can get power and which ones need to turn off so that you don't overdraw the battery or run it down too fast. If you decide during a power outage that you'd rather wash your clothes than work on spreadsheets or whatever, you can shuffle things around in the app to make it happen and it will change instantly. The other killer use case for a smart panel is that it can help you avoid a pricey, drawn out electrical service upgrade. So in an all electric home, there will be times when you're using a lot of electric power all at once. Heat pump is cranking, laundry is going, hot water needs to be topped off, lights, computers, so on. Some homes simply don't have a big enough electrical cable running to their house from the grid to handle all that at once. The traditional fix has been to get a new breaker box with more capacity and then pay the power company to run a bigger wire to your house. But it's not always that simple. Some utility companies have been getting so many of these requests lately that the wait list is a year long. And if the power line is buried under a sidewalk, the upgrade could easily cost $10,000 or more. It's absolutely brutal. What a smart panel lets you do is keep your existing electrical connection, but manage the power use better. You can use the app to decide, hey, if I'm about to trip the breaker, what gets turned off first? When your heat pump is roaring, for example, the water heater's working and you're cooking a feast with an induction stove, the panel can watch all of that and decide, you know what, you can't charge your EV at full speed right now. You can't use the clothes dryer, at least until something else shuts off. All right, hopefully this helps shine some light on what you might actually gain by picking a smart panel. We cover a few more possible use cases in our full smart panel guide at Energy Sage, along with loads more clean energy buying advice and a marketplace to help you find vetted, trustworthy, cost competitive installers for solar panels, batteries, smart panels, heat pumps, and more. Come check us out and thanks for watching.